A shortage of an old but reliable drug for treating children with cancer is causing concern at Roswell. Buffalo's Cancer Treatment Center would like to see the federal government step in. Reporter Steve Brown is here now with this story, and this has got to be so scary for parents. It certainly was for the parent that we were introduced to today. The drug that we're talking about today is Vin Christine. Now, it's described as an effective chemotherapy drug for can childhood cancers. It is commonly used for children battling forms of leukemia, and that would include Alex Tingley. He's five years old and being treated at Roswell for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Earlier this year, one of the manufacturers of Vin Christine, Teva, announced it would no longer make the drug, leaving one drug company, Pfizer, as the lone manufacturer, leading to demand shortages. When we went to order the drug for him back in May, you know, it was much to our shock and surprise that the drug was was not available. And not only could the company not tell us, um, you know, they didn't have it available at the time, and they couldn't even tell us when it was going to be available. Congressman Brian Higgins would like to put some public pressure on the FDA to do something about this drug shortage and others. He's calling on the FDA commissioner, Alex Azar Azar, to put pressure on drug companies to continue to make effective but older and perhaps not very profitable medicines. That appears to be the case with Vin Christine first approved for FDA use back in 1963. So, Steve, how can the federal government help? kids like Alex who need this drug. Well, it's all part of a current uh, conversation that's going on because there is a proposal to create a national essential drug list. And Commissioner Azar is on the record saying a combination of federal regulation and incentives may be a way to address the shortages of this particular drug and lots of others. There are dozens of these on the FDA website. So it's something under current consideration. The FDA commissioner is supposed to release a report a little bit later this year. Yes, yeah, something's going to take some time. Absolutely. All right, Steve, more to come. Thank you.